Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. For covering uh, this topic, I uh, would like to explain a little about the concept of Doppler. Usually vascular tech are more familiar with these topics, uh, but I am going to a little add on to the information about Dattler, uh, Doppler for Ecotech. As you know, the uh, Doppler principle say if the sound uh, hit the reflector moving object, the reflected sound, the sound that go back to the transducer, frequency will change. If the moving object go toward the transducer, the changing will be positive, frequency increase. And in color Doppler as a standard show the positive shift uh, as usually red and if go away from transducer or the same direction of the sound wave it give negative shift in color doppler show negative that usually is blue this concept is very uh, observable in the aortic arc as you know with doppler shift in echo we usually don't change it positive is red show in machine red and negative shift show blue aortic arc ascending blood flow go this way and sound is this way so go toward the transducer or against the sound wave so it give you a positive shift but when the sound hit here is almost perpendicular and after that sound wave direction this way and blood flow away of transducer or the same direction of the sound it give you negative shift and become blue so we have red a line of black that is zero and then negative blue or negative shift so that is the concept of the doppler shift there is a formula here uh, how machine calculate the velocity of the blood flow because it can detect the reflected frequency and and uh, by knowing the angle of the insonation, it can calculate velocity of the uh, moving uh, object that is here blood flow. And we know the C, uh, the sound wave velocity in the tissue in the body. If you look at this, when uh, the angle between the insulation and direction become 90 degree the cosinus of the 90 degree is zero what does it mean when the transducer if this way hit the this uh, vessel that blood flow go there and make a 90 degree or right angle so it doesn't uh, detect any doppler shift and it show black or zero and in the color you don't see any color color doppler you don't see that is the reason when you do ivc or aorta in abdominal aorta you want to get good color or doppler both of them doesn't matter you have to make it as much as possible direction of the blood flow uh, parallel to the sound wave in vascular it is very hard to get a uh, sound wave parallel to the blood flow but in echo usually almost always we can make it in those important spots the blood flow direction with the doppler and sound wave parallel so in the echo we don't use angle correction or steering box but in vascular uh, we use for fixing that problem we use a steering box and angle correction let's see what happened when the angle of the insulation is more than 20 degree here we have cosinus imagine there is a vessel and a sound wave hit in different angle to the vessel that blood flow 
if uh, up to 20 degree changes the angle between the insonation and direction of flow is only changed six percent for example if his real uh, flow velocity is 50 centimeter six percent of the uh, 50 percent become almost three centimeter three and uh, it show uh, machine calculated 47 centimeter so six percent up to 20 uh, degree is not too much uh, big deal but if goes the angle between the uh, sound wave and the moving that blood is more than 20 percent suddenly it jump more than 10 percent so as a general rule in the echo we try to keep the angle of the sound and the blood flow less than 20 percent but we have to try make it the angle zero that uh, in other word blood flow go completely parallel to the sound wave now uh, i have to explain another uh, concept the blood flow pattern in the cardiovascular Generally, we have three type of the uh, blood flow in the uh, in heart and in vessel, big vessel and a small uh, average and small vessels. Those three are laminar, turbulence, and AD. I don't. I'm not going to talk about AD. Just talking about focus on laminar and turbulence. Laminar blood flow in uh, in the laminar blood flow. The blood flow at each level of that uh, canal or vessel is almost, they are parallel to each other. As you can see here, they are blood flow parallel. We have two types of the laminar flow. One of them is plug, one of them is parabolic. Plug is at the beginning of the, at LVOT and bigger, uh, artery like the beginning of the aorta and beginning of the pulmonary artery in those two three spots we have plug uh, flow what is the plug flow the velocity from the side to the all the way is almost equal at the center of the vessel and at the side of the vessel in all of those spots it's almost the same almost but in parabolic the uh, velocity at the center is highest when you move to the uh, wall it becomes little by little decrease but the blood flow is still in different layer or parallel in turbulence we have a chaos blood flow different direction different velocity the result of this if we do doppler it can give us different pattern in the plug it gives you very narrow, linear, care, spectral profile. If a little change, it gives you a little thicker, but still we have window or empty Doppler inside of that. We call it spectral broadening. If it's a chaos and turbulence, it completely gives you broadening and full of the spectral. Let's see what is uh, this concept effect on uh, echo in pulse Doppler what is the and what is the difference between pulse Doppler and continuous wave Doppler in pulse Doppler machine detect and measure and record the velocity at the one specific area and that is a sample volume in pulse wave we put sample volume machine only detect at that specific spot and usually when the measuring in specific spot especially lvot the velocity blood flow is plug and in all those spots is almost even and homogen so it gives you a very sharp spectral doppler with empty windows we call this this part window spectral window and sharp very clear but in continuous machine pick up and record all blood flow align the cursor from the probe to the end of the cursor so at the apex middle all the way go all the way it pick up 
at the line of that, not one specific spot. So you can imagine at each of those spots, velocity, direction, change, all those stuff. So you can see very uh, full spectral compared to the pulse wave. Is the same as the mitral valve. In pulse wave, up is clean, has a spectral window uh, and very narrow curving of a spectral profile. But in continuous, you can see full of the spectral different like, that represent different velocity, direction, all and so on. So now I hope you understand the difference between pulse way and continuous way and the concept of the angle. Now let's see what is the correct way to do pulse Doppler on LVOT. For doing correct way LVOT pulse Doppler, we have to consider two factors. First, the location of the sample volume, and second, the direction of the cursor with the LVOT direction. Let's go first with the location of sample volume. As a general rule, you remember in when we do uh, LVOT measurement, for LVOT pulse Doppler, we have to put our sample volume exactly the same spot that we measure LVOT diameter. Uh, for example, if you measure LVOT one centimeter far from the aortic ring you, on, on your parts of the LVOT, you have to put sample volume almost one centimeter far from the ring. But you know, with the hard uh, uh, cycle, basal move to the forward, so it goes up and down. Uh, the location of the sample, uh, sample volume in LVOT. The general rules for getting good sample volume location is this. You put the sample volume one half to one centimeter uh, far from the aortic ring and watch the Doppler. If you see the spike that artifact from uh, closing and opening valve, if you see those spark, means you are close to the valve. You are too much close to the valve. How to fix it? Just update your image when you do uh, parse Doppler, updated image, and move your uh, sample volume farther, slowly, and wash your spectral. When it disappear, those spark, means you are in the right spot. Very simple. If you go more far, it becomes decreased. The velocity decreases. That is, sometimes, some take, I notice, they try to manipulate the measurement with just moving far and decreasing or increasing velocity. Generally, when you go farther of the aortic ring, velocity decreases. Another uh, tip for that, is that you are in the right spot, is the Vmax of the LVOT. If you are in the right spot and there is not LVOT obstruction, your peak Vmax shouldn't go over 120. Usually it should be uh, below 100 centimeter per second. So if it's over 100, 120, so you are too much close to the aortic valve ring, your sample volume, or you have dealing with the LVOT obstruction that it show in turbulence, all those stuff, and 2D. I'm going not talk to about that uh, situation, LVOT obstruction, in another lecture. But just remember, these two parameters is very important, landmark. Spike artifact, because of closing and opening valve, and another Vim velocity. This is when you fix your sample volume location. The next step is direction of the cursor. Your cursor should be as much as possible parallel to LVOT uh, direction, as you can see on the color. As I explained, up to 20 degree misalignment angle between the cursor and the LVOT is acceptable. But it's very simple, fix it and make it parallel 
as much as Posey will make this zero, zero, almost is still they have angle something like 15 to 20 percent, even is acceptable, but still you can fix it. How you can fix it? Just move your probe. Look at this image. Here is more than 20 percent. Direction of the LVOT is this way, and your cursor is this way, almost 30 degree or more than that. So that will be if you do pulse Doppler on this 100 percent, you underestimate Vmax and VTI more than 10 percent. So how to fix it? Just move your transducer to the lateral. Keep your apical five. Just move transducer slowly to the lateral from the, this direction. It become more oblique, and if you continue, it become completely parallel to the LVOT. And in that case, your measurement and evaluation and Doppler will be perfect. Oh, and one more thing. During that pulse Doppler, in all pulse Doppler and continuous Doppler, doesn't matter, in any spot, always uh, do when the patient holds his or her breath. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time.